Reading your projected income statement. Your projected income statement has been auto-populated based on your answers to both the financial questions as well as the development of your marketing budget. Your income statement is based on the 12-month period and includes month 1 to 12 as well as the totals. The first section here is actually from your sales forecast. This equals the number of customers, total revenue, your cost of goods sold or your variable costs, which equals your gross profit. After that component comes your standard expenses. The neat thing here is that any of the blue cells can be updated. So for labor, it's very common for a startup to actually have lower labor rates up front because it's often themselves or their partner who are spending all their time uh, in terms of the labor and the service delivery. So you could actually start with your first three months, maybe six months even, of having zero labor and not hiring anyone. And then what you can do is then say, I hire a part-time worker, let's say for the first three months. And then they become full-time for the next three months. And the, let's say I now hire a second full-time person for the last three months of my first 12-month period. The neat thing you can see for the entire first year of business your salaries are only $42,000. So it allows you to scale up and have a reasonable amount allocated for the labor cost. Every other expense is already based on your previous fields that you've entered. The marketing budget has automatically been relayed over here, as well as your accounting per month, your legal per month, and all of your other monthly expenses that you've already predetermined under your financial questions tab. The total of your expenses are added up, creating your net income or your net loss. Based on how much you were borrowing, you now have an interest expense. And then it's your net income or loss previous to tax. Your tax is calculated, which in this case, because it does have a net loss, it's at zero. And then you have your net gain or loss in total. So the interesting thing here is in year one, it is showing a negative $25,000 loss. What you can now do is go through this, reevaluate your numbers, see whether or not your plan makes sense. With it being negative $25,000, maybe it doesn't. And you would probably have to project your second year uh, sales as well as your second year expenses to then foresee whether or not this will actually make up for this loss in future years. 